go ahead and do what you have to do in Turbo Lister to do your next listing. So the first step is to copy this, to duplicate this listing that you have so you can use it for your next one. So do you remember how to duplicate this? I double click? Nope. Double click will open it. So you already have it highlighted. Go up to the word edit that's at the very top next to file. There. And click that and then click duplicate. One copy. Good. So click OK. So you have the one you did. Now let's use the copy for your other listing. This one? Yeah. And that, to use that, then you're double clicking on it to open it up. And where are you going to go get your title? Right, you're going to go to the database and get the title that you did. Uh huh. Right, so do you see the back button at the bottom? Right, so you're going to go back out of this porcelain vase one and go to your other one that you had. Yep. So sometimes when I've taken pictures of 20 items, I'll have them all in there. And then I'll just put them all in Turbo Lister. So how do you copy your title from here? Um, I like control A and control C. Right, so you did control A and then control C to copy it. And then where do you go? Uh, put it back in Turbo Lister, don't it? Yes, perfect. Well, it looks like it's already highlighted, so let's just go ahead and try to paste it. Okay, now that's good. You have eight. You have ten characters remaining. So, early works. Did you want to put the word architect? Yeah, architect. Perfect. Zero characters remaining. We used them all. Now, what are you gonna do? Good. Now here you can just put it, it's a book, and it'll pull up the book category. What does antiquarian mean? It's an antique book. Oh, antique, okay. Um, yeah, non-fiction, okay. Here's where you can put the ISBN for the book, so it will pull up Um, no, I don't, no, do it without any dashes. Oh, I found it. That's wonderful. Okay, and then go ahead and click select. Perfect, and then next. We don't want to do done, we want to do next because then we can add anything so go ahead and scroll down and see if there's anything we need to add. Subject, architecture and design, so it already did that. Condition, that must very good. Okay. It is like new, actually. Okay, then go ahead and do that. And then done. That's nice, so that filled in all those specifics for you. All right, so what do you do next? Um, let's say the category. Uh-huh. So you're just working your way down. I don't know if they have books in here, though. Yeah, you might not. I noticed that. So what do you do if they don't have a book? Is this my category? Or These are your store categories. I have to add books some way. Okay, well... We, we don't have time to do that right now while, during this, but you can add that later and maybe you can put it under other. Accessory, no. Okay, whatever. Uh, and you already have collectibles. It, well, I don't know if it's a collectible. It might be, though, whatever you think. Well, yeah, he's pretty famous. Okay, so now what are you going to do? Good. Which picture are you going to start with? Four. 
Yeah, but I mean, you're working your way down. So why don't you start with this top gallery? Okay, go ahead and do what you're doing because you, you, you're remembering to take, change the numbers, so that's good. To find them, pull the thing all the way down. And that's how you get to the ones at the bottom of the listing. Okay, now, that changes the four? That's right. Whoops. Wait a minute, do you see the first picture here? This is the one that's next to the description. The one down four inches in your description, do you see this picture right here? Don't pull that down. Do you see right here? Um, in your description builder, you can see where it says www.7daysaleforyou.net backslash Angela. That's your first picture. That one's by itself, and that one is next to the description. Go ahead and do what you're doing there. There. Now pull this thing down to the bottom, and you'll have the bottom three that you can change. Do I always do that? Go to that one? Yes. And you're going to have a recording of what we're doing right now. So you can watch it, so you can re you know, reinforce it in your mind. Okay, so these are done. So why don't you go change this gallery picture up here? Wouldn't this be 1, 2, 3? Yes, 0, 1, 2. I'm sorry, 0, 1, 2. So you're right to change this first 1 to a 0. How about this 3? No, no. Okay, the first one is 0, where it says 1. Right, right here, change that to a zero. What do you mean? I don't go by the one up there. Right, you're going to show that one twice because this one shows it bigger. Oh, and I then see. go to the two and change it back to a one. Okay, and those you won't have to change in the future. Okay, so now can you change your gallery picture up here where it says, you know, the picture that you're looking at, the picture it shows? Yes. Okay, so can you change that picture URL? Yeah. No, we didn't do this for the last one. Yeah, I did. Yeah. That's why a vase shows. Otherwise, there'd be no vase there. So go ahead and change that A and F3 to a 4. Do I have to do this one too, picture 2? No, we're not doing it there anymore because those didn't work. Uh, no, I see. Now I got okay, now if you click on pictures, you'll be able to see if that came through. Perfect. Okay. The next thing we do is the next thing that shows. See how to the right it says auction and price? Oh, I'm sorry. We should do the description now. Go ahead and click on description builder so you can see all your pictures and then you can put the description there. Description builder, you said? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right. So that's too tall now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that happen? Um, it's because that one is confined. So um, what? Uh, so I can change the size again if you give me controls. But before I do that, why don't you paste your description here so that you have it all in one recording? Do you know? Are you gonna go get your description first? Yeah, and where do you get it from? I get it from the consignment store. Right, the consignment database. So you go there. And then I highlight it. Uh huh. And I control C. Control C for copy. So you highlighted it, then you did control C for copy. And I go over here and, and control V. Good, you, cop you highlighted the existing one, and then you did control V for paste. Okay, now, do you want to change the title right up above there? Uh, yeah, there's a great, early work at the great article. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so I change that to delete or anything, or just start typing? Um, well, if you highlight it, you can just start typing, but you're going to have to type delete, if you, otherwise it's going to keep that porcelain vintage thing. Okay. Architect, 